Have you ever wondered about the enigmatic world of outlaws and lawmen in the American West during the late 1,800 seconds? If so, you might find the 1973 movie Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid intriguing. Directed by the legendary filmmaker Sam Peckinpah, this Western film explores the complex relationship between the titular characters, portraying their journey through a landscape filled with moral ambiguity, loyalty, and the inexorable pull of destiny. In this cinematic masterpiece, y'all encounter the likes of James Coburn and Chris Christopherson portraying Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, respectively. These iconic performances from classic Hollywood actors bring depth and authenticity to the characters they inhabit. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? And speaking of classic Hollywood actors, which one in this movie was your favorite? Before we delve into random facts about the film, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's celebrate the enduring impact of this cinematic gem on its audience. Now, let's uncover some fascinating tidbits about the movie. Did you know that Bob Dylan not only provided the film's soundtrack, but also made a cameo appearance as Alias? Or that the film faced significant production challenges, including conflicts between the director and the studio? These are just a couple of intriguing details that make Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid a truly remarkable piece of cinema. So, tell us about your favorite roles and classic actors from the film, and share your personal memories in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation alive just like the enduring legacy of this Western classic. While making the movie Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid in 1973, Sam Peckinpah's alcoholism was so advanced that he would have to start the day with a large tumbler of vodka to stop shaking. He would be drinking grenadine by mid-afternoon. After that, he was too drunk to work. James Coburn recalled that Peckinpah was only coherent for four hours a day. This struggle with alcoholism had a significant impact on the production of the film. The film Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid from 1973 faced significant production challenges that put a considerable strain on the cast and crew. It finished a staggering 21 days behind schedule, and these delays had a cascading effect on the overall production. As a result, the film exceeded its budget by $1.6 million further exacerbating the already daunting situation. These delays and budget overruns had a notable impact on the making of the movie, affecting everything from the shooting schedule to the availability of key actors and resources. The struggle to complete the film on time and within budget was a significant aspect of its production, and it forced the director, Sam Peckinpah, and the producers to make some tough decisions. They had to rework scenes, cut corners, and even secure additional financing to keep the project afloat. Despite the challenges, the film ultimately made it to the big screen, and while it may have faced adversity behind the scenes, it has since become a classic in the Western genre, thanks to its gritty storytelling and memorable performances. In hindsight, the tumultuous production of Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid serves as a testament to the determination and creativity of the filmmakers who overcame these challenges. It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, a dedicated team can bring a vision to life. This film, despite its troubled production, stands as a testament to the enduring power of cinema and storytelling. The troubled production of the 1973 movie Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid was marred by various challenges. One significant issue arose from a bent flange in one of the Panavision cameras. All shots captured with this camera turned out out of focus on the right side, rendering the footage unusable. The problem went undetected for several weeks because NGM had initially refused Sam Peckinpah's request to have a camera mechanic on set in Durango. When the issue was finally addressed, the film was already several days over schedule and several hundred thousand dollars over budget. This technical setback was just one of the many hurdles faced during the making of the film. Sam Peckinpah, who had never heard of Bob Dylan before, hired him immediately after being moved by his proposed title song. However, the director's relationship with the studio and his own producers had reached a breaking point by the time the film reached the editing room. James T. Aubrey, the studio head, was furious about the production overruns and demanded an unrealistic release date. This led to a desperate situation for Peckinpah and his editors as they had to negotiate with Aubrey over the film's content. 
In summary, the production of Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid was plagued by technical issues, budget overruns, and conflicts between the director and the studio. These challenges added to the tumultuous journey of bringing the film to the big screen. After Sam Peckinpah was forced out of the production, MGM president James Aubrey made a controversial move that would go down in Hollywood history as a decision that drastically altered the fate of the film. Aubrey took it upon himself to extensively re-edit the movie, cutting it down from its original runtime of two hours and four minutes to a mere one hour and 46 minutes. This abrupt and significant reduction in running time not only left many scenes on the cutting room floor, but also altered the pacing and overall narrative structure of the film. The consequences of this dramatic editing decision were profound. The film's final cut, as released to theaters, was met with harsh criticism from both critics and audiences alike. The character development and the depth of the story were sacrificed in the name of brevity, leaving viewers with a disjointed and incomplete cinematic experience. As a result, the film not only failed to resonate with its intended audience, but also fell far short of the expectations set by the talented cast and crew who had poured their hearts and souls into the production. Unsurprisingly, the cast and crew of the film, including the actors and the creative team who had envisioned the project under Peckinpah's direction, largely disowned the released version. They felt that their artistic vision had been mutilated and their hard work had been compromised in the interest of trimming the film's length. This ultimately left the film that could have been as a mere shadow of its potential. In hindsight, the ill-fated decision to drastically cut the film's runtime stands as a glaring example of how executive interference can profoundly impact a film's reception and legacy, turning a potentially iconic work into a cautionary tale of what might have been. It serves as a stark reminder of the importance of preserving artistic integrity in the world of cinema, where the final edit can either make or break a film's destiny. As we bid farewell to this cinematic journey through the iconic 1973 film, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, we invite you to take a moment to reflect on the personal connection you forged with this timeless classic. This legendary tale of friendship, betrayal, and the ever-shifting sands of morality has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Perhaps you found yourself drawn to the enigmatic charm of Billy the Kid, or maybe Pat Garrett's internal conflict resonated with your own struggles. The hauntingly beautiful soundtrack by Bob Dylan might have stirred emotions you couldn't quite put into words. In this cinematic masterpiece, the Wild West becomes a stage for the complexities of human nature, and it's no wonder it lingers in our thoughts. Now, we encourage you to share your favorite memories, insights, or thoughts about Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. How did this film touch your life, and what lessons have you drawn from its characters and storyline? Your unique perspective adds to the richness of the film's legacy. Thank you for investing your time and interest in our cinematic journey through this classic. Your reflections and thoughts are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the lasting impact of great cinema. We appreciate your engagement, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts. Until we embark on another cinematic adventure, thank you for being a part of this discussion. And remember, the story continues.